lovelies! So, today I have a little sort of teeny tiny mini haul for you because Dolls Kill, which is like a website that I really really enjoy and stock frequently, uh, were super nice and sent me like a little box of things and I thought that was so so sweet and I wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, but yeah, just like the Dolls Kill website, I'm always just like lurking on there, adding things to my wish list, especially the shoe section. Oh my god. But um, no shoes today, but some other really, really cute things. So I will show you what I got. So there's like a cute little picture here with a little note. And um, this note made me realize how, how frightfully unhip I am because it took me like 10 minutes to read. I was like, what? <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was super, super sweet. And I'm just, I'm so excited, so excited. Everything's packaged really nice. And this came like damn fast. Like I was really confused because this is the first day I've had delivered to the new house. So we came here and there was like, you know, a, you missed a parcel letter from FedEx or whatever. And I was like, the only people who have this address are Dolls Kill, but th that can't possibly be that package because it couldn't be here that fast. And it was. So impressed with that. So the first thing I see is this little box. So I think I know what's in here. We'll have a quick, quick look. <laughs> so we've got some bubble wrap. This is what I think it is. Ooh, girl. Why did I just, ooh, girl? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Ah! It is a Lunatic Cosmetic Labs eyeshadow palette. And you know, you guys know that my, um, if you watched my big makeup haul a while ago, that uh, I got the contour palette from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. Cosmetic Labs, why can't I speak? Oh, but yeah, I got that and it's like my favorite thing in existence now. Like all my contour and blush and everything today is from that palette. And now I have a little eye palette and just like, before we even look at the eyeshadows, look at this bloody packaging. This is like the cutest thing I've seen in my life. Little like coffin with little like Ouija things. Oh my goodness. This is just like so up my alley. It's just like perfect for gothy types. I just, I love Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. I just, I need their lip products next, you know? But uh, let's have a look at the actual eyeshadows. So here they are. These are super, super pretty. The picture on the Dolls Kill website actually made a lot of these look a lot brighter than they were and I wasn't really interested but then I looked up swatches and stuff and they weren't as vibrant so if you see the picture on there and it looks too bright don't worry it's probably just the way the picture is because these are quite nice muted tones so you have this sort of like dark like plummy burgundy that is called Spook and then you've got these sort of like purpley mauvey colours I would say that's Myth and what is this I can't see <laughs> Invocation, and then the two on the end are Reincarnation and Ghoulite, and they are really, really pretty. You've got like a sort of very light pinky color. I don't know, it probably looks white on the camera, but it is a very, very pale pink. And then you have this pretty shimmery one. Let me just quickly. Yeah, that's super pretty. I've got like foundation on my hand, but yeah, if you can see, it like it just doesn't do it justice. It's those sort of like pretty light colors that you need to appreciate in real life. But they're gorgeous and the mirror is a little bat, guys. Come on. This is like made for me. I'm, I'm convinced. Next up is something that I've been wanting for like two years or something and I've just never got around to getting it and I'm so excited. I finally have it. And it is this jumper from Killstar and it's like a ribcage one. There's three of these jumpers that I really want. They, I think they only had one Dolls Kill website. There's this one. There's the Pugsley one, which is like a black and white stripey jumper and then there's like a plain black sort of distressed one and I've been wanting all three of those forever they've been on my wish list forever and I finally get to tick one off so let's have a look Ooh, okay here we go here we go oh yeah so it's this really cute like ribcage sweater you can see at the bottom it has like some distress details and stuff and it's like nice and big and oversized I'm hoping because I like things like this whenever they're oversized. It looks like it will be, but you can't always tell. Uh, the skeleton detail continues down, and then you've got like the little sort of frayed bits on the sleeves as well. I'll definitely have to try this on in a moment, and if I don't look absolutely hideous, then I will show you guys that. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's like a really comfy sweater material, and it just looks so cute, and I cannot wait to wear this. Killstar have been coming out with so much stuff recently that I really like. Like, whenever I first saw stuff from the brand, I really wasn't interested because it was mostly that sort of like, you know, really like heavily printed black and white occult symbolism stuff and like, you know, t-shirts with slogans about the like cats and pizza and stuff, which is great and all, it's just not my style at all. So I was like, eh. But then recently, like they keep coming out with more and more things where I'm like, damn. 
So the next thing is actually from Killstar as well. I have that here, and I believe this is called, does it say on here? It does, it's the Pussycat Skitter Dress. And this is super cute, and it's the collar that really drew me to this. I was just like, oh. So let's have a quick look-see. Oh, goodness, oh, oh. That. Oh. This is the dress. So the collar is up here, and it has little bells, which are kind of wrapped in something to protect them. They're like little gold bells. I'll get those out in a minute. And then it has like a gap, so like, you know, like a normal like neckline that comes down. So you have the collar up here, but then like, you know, like a little bit of chest showing. And then it's just a nice velvet skater dress. And I just thought this was so cute. I saw it and like, I just, I fell in love with it. I love the little collar and everything. So I'm really hoping it looks good on me because I really, really want, I just, I want it to. It's adorable. So I will be seeing how that works out. And then the last thing here was actually a little surprise. I didn't know this was coming. And uh, my boyfriend was very disappointed when I found out what it actually was. <laughs> but this is actually a bag, I believe. It says uh, Book of Spells on here and it has this on the front and everything. And it does like look like a book and it has you know, that leather texture of a book. And my boyfriend thought it was a book and he was very sad when he found out it wasn't a cool leather bound book. But I am delighted. So let me see if I can open this without breaking it. Oh god. We're good. Oh, and it does have a strap. I did wonder. So, oof. This is the inside, so it just has this little print on it, it has a little pocket in there so if you want to slip anything in, and it's just like a little book bag. I don't really know how you attach the strap. Oh, I see! There's like little sneaky strap holders there. But yeah, it's like a little book and you can carry that around with your stuff in it. I just think that's adorable. I have such a thing for this style of bag. Like I've seen a whole bunch of other ones, I can't remember what, which website, but they're like Edgar Allan Poe book looking things that look like this, and I just, I'm definitely into this. And just look how pretty it is. So yeah, it's just like a, a cute little purse. Definitely, you know, if you're just going out somewhere and you just want to take the essentials, like, you know, your money and your keys and your phone, like a little bit of lipstick or something, pop it in there and uh, it's just so fun. So this is the pussycat dress. I'm just tying up the little bows, or bells, bells into a bow. They're very loud, which uh, might put some people off, but I think it's delightful. So let me just, I'm not really sure what way you're meant to do this. So I'll just, I suppose like this. Ooh. much so it's just like you know you can kind of see the neck is a little like this part is a little bit higher on me than I would want um I've actually got my vest on under this but yeah it's still super cute I really really like the um little bells and everything obviously ignore my choker under there but yeah just they're so cute and jiggly and they actually <laughs> unintentionally match my makeup today but um yeah this is super cute fits quite nice and um yeah it's nice and comfy so this is the skeleton hoodie, so as you can see it's just like a nice big baggy jumper. I ordered this in a size large, which is like the biggest one they had at the time because I wanted it to be baggy if they had a bigger size. Ooh, that was my phone. <laughs> I would have gotten an even bigger one, but yeah, this is super cute. It's nice and baggy. It has this like distress detail on the sleeves and also the bottom, but it's a little harder to see because my bottom, my <laughs> pajama bottoms, I'm sorry, are black. But uh, yeah, this is really comfy, really cute. I absolutely love this, love this, and I can see myself wearing it a lot. So that is everything. My hair is a little bit mental. Um, I just washed it last night. No, I can't do a thing with it, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. I am in love with this jumper. I'm just gonna live in this from now on, I think. And the eyeshadow palette and the little book bag and just everything. Super, super happy, and as I say, like that delivery was ridiculous. I would have been happy with the speed of that if that was something coming from the UK, but for something coming from America, that was mental. I don't know how they matched it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll have links to everything in the description below, hopefully. Assuming everything's still in stock, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. I need to sneeze. I oh no, I can't. <laughs>